Hello to everyone in the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral community. This is Father Jonathan. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to take a moment to reflect on one of my favorite psalms. And in this time of difficulty, anxiety, and fear, it's a psalm that really speaks to us and teaches us something about how we ought to respond. So the psalm in an Orthodox scripture is 45. For those of you who have Bibles that are not the Orthodox study Bible or with the Orthodox numbering, it'll be Psalm 46. And I'll read it to you and I wanna emphasize a few aspects of it. So the, the psalm goes, God is our refuge and power, a help in affliction that seriously befall us. Therefore, we will not fear when the earth is troubled and when the mountains are removed into the hearts of the seas, their waters roared and were troubled. The mountains were troubled by his might. The torrents and the, of the rivers gladden the city of God. The Most High sanctifies his tabernacle. God is in her midst. She shall not be shaken. God shall help her early in the morning. The nations were troubled, kingdoms fell. He uttered his voice, the earth shook. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our protector. Come behold the works of the Lord, the wonders he wrought on the earth. When he makes wars cease to the ends of the earth, he will break the bow and shatter the weapon, and he will burn up the shields in fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our protector. In this psalm, we hear that of the many things that we experience. It speaks to fear and anxiety when the world around us is unsure when the ground we stand on even shakes, when we're troubled about war, and really it can be extended even to pandemic, times like this when we're fearful about our physical well-being, our well-being because there's sickness going around, and we find ourselves isolated, but we're not. We know that our God is there with us, our God is there fighting for us. And God interjects into this psalm, most of the psalm is in the third person. It's, being, it's speaking to us about God. And then in verse 11, something happens. God breaks in, in first person, and, and says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. God breaks in and reminds us, even when we're fearful, even when lots of things are happening, we need only to be still and know that he is God. He is taking care of us. Now, this may not look like what we expect. And it may be that we are feeling alone in the midst of all of this, being socially distanced, for our well-being and the well-being of others. But it may bring about suffering. It may bring about worry, concern, uncertainty. But our God reminds us in the midst of all of that, again, we need only be still and know that he is God. And where do we know he is God? Well, deep within our hearts we know. For God is there present. If we can be still, if we can practice stillness, silence, isihia it's called, if we can enter into our hearts, we will find that God is there present. We can explore the internal, interior universe. For God is infinite, and yet he dwells in our hearts. And we can find him there in the midst of the world that's full of anxieties and fears. If we're still and know deep within our hearts that he is God and he'll take care of us. We want to let you know that 
we are here for you in God's name, offering you whatever you need. If you are in need, if you need someone to talk to, if you're in need of any assistance, reach out to us here at Holy Trinity, call the office, we're available. Father Vasilios, Father Christian and I will make ourselves available 24 seven for those who are in need. Call us, email us, whatever you need, we are here. God bless you, stay, str stay strong, and know that you're loved, and know that our God is God, and he is fighting for us, guiding us, protecting us, keeping us in his great love. Amen.